The first thing he fed it was fear. He met it in the trees behind his house, a place he liked to hide. At first, he didn't realize it was there. Gradually, it came into focus. Its features were hard to make out. They seemed to continuously morph. Sometimes it was serpentine, wolf-like, or winged. It spoke to him in a language he had never heard before, though he could understand the words. Why do you fear me, human? Mark stumbled backward, held by its yellow gaze. The beast rose from the shadows and moved closer. You fear me, yet you are much more afraid of returning home to your father. Mark was too shocked to speak. The beast bared its sharp teeth at him. Feed me your fear, human. I will take your burden from you. Mark felt himself letting go. His body gradually relaxed. The beast finally addressed him again. Go home now. Your fear is safe with me. The next time he saw the beast, he fed it his sadness. This time, it had visited him in his room. Mark cowered under the covers as it rose up from beneath his bed. Why must you covet your pain so? Release it unto me. The beast's yellow glare grew wide. The tears that had been forming in Mark's eyes dried. The weight on his shoulders was lifted. He slept soundly that night. The beast sat at the foot of his bed, singing wordless lullabies. The years went on, and Mark was nearing adulthood. Whenever he was sad or afraid, the beast was there to remove his burden. Eventually, though, it wasn't enough. The rage inside him would come spilling out. When the beast saw this, it became ravenous. Human, release your anger to me. Rid yourself of this poison. Mark fed it all that he had. The beast had freed him in a way. He was never afraid, sad, or scared. Yet his physical being was still being harmed. He would look at his wounds in the mirror, indifferent to them. The beast had consumed nearly everything Mark felt, yet it came to him again. Human, feed me your love. For the first time, Mark was hesitant. The beast persisted. Your love is keeping you a prisoner. Mark thought for a moment, then he fed the beast again. After he buried his father in the forest, the guilt Mark felt was overbearing. He fell to his knees and pleaded, Please, take the guilt. Take it, he begged. The beast stood silently for a while. It is the only thing left that makes you human. Take it. Take it, please. It obliged, consuming the last piece of Mark's soul. Then it was gone. Mark shakily got to his feet. He was numb, a ghost of himself. Soulless. He found himself in front of a mirror. A pair of yellow eyes stared back at him, his ghastly features shifting constantly. Hey guys and ladies, thanks for watching. Links to all my shit are down in the description. Shirts, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Discord. I thought that was a beast of a story. Written by my buddy Psyoptic Nerve that I've done a few stories for. You people that always come and watch my stuff. I appreciate you. Half the reason I'm even still doing this is because of you guys. So that's about it. And be good to animals, even people. See ya. Yo, it's Neymar. Barracks, Miss Hirsch.